Hello everyone, my name is Fakhruddin Khambati and welcome to the 6th video in SSIS training series. In this video, we are going to talk about how to handle errors. There are multiple ways through which we can handle errors in SSIS. We are going to cover the most basic and the most simple way of error handling in this video. So here is the requirement. We have been given a file that has some corrupt data. This file is obviously considered as a source. We have to insert this data in our destination. There is a table called customers that has been defined this way. Let's look at the source file. We have first, last name, email, date of birth, amount, city and state. Let's see the data types of these columns. I have to make a way to make sure that this file has a corrupt data. And for that, I will pick randomly pick a record and I will just change the digit into string for a column called amount. Now amount is defined as a money, a money data type in the SQL server. So if I insert a string into money data type in Microsoft SQL, it is bound to give an error. And this is our requirement. First we will see how the SSIS package behaves when it encounters that row. Then we will see how we can prevent the error or at least handle it with grace. So I will switch to SQL Server data tools. Here I have defined a data flow task. Under data flow task, I have a flat file source and a OLEDB destination. If you have any confusion understanding what flat file source is, what OLEDB destination or a data flow task is, please refer to the previous videos because I have explained these topics in detail. I have also configured the flat file source so that it can go and link to a file or it can browse to a file where my CSV or the source data is. And I have configured my destination so that it can go to my database and under that it can go to this particular table called customers. Currently it has zero records. So let's see how it behaves when we start this particular package. Now remember what we are doing. We are pulling the data from the source flat file source which is this. In the source we have induced a corrupt data and we are attempting to load the entire source into our destination. Destination is a table in our Microsoft SQL Server database. Just to reiterate this particular source has around 1000 records, 1000 rows. So, so I will hit on start or just press F5 to run this package and as expected it gave me an error. There are multiple tabs out here. I can see the progress of my package in the progress tab. And if I scroll down I can see there are some errors. And it is kind of difficult to read and understand these errors because they are kind of generic. So you may understand it with a lot of practice, but right now there is no point looking at these errors in detail. But since we know that the error is because of this highlighted record. So let's go in our Microsoft SQL and run select star from customer and see what happened in the database when we ran this package. It says there is an error, but still I want to check. Wow, there is data. Is it true? It gave an error. The OLEDB destination has an error in it. But then why do I have the data? Wait, look at it closely. It has 19 rows only. Out of how many rows there were supposed to be? 1000 rows. Out of 1000 rows, it just got 
19 records. Why? Because it parsed the first row, it entered the data, second row it entered the data in Microsoft SQL, third and so on. But when it reached to this row, it stopped. It gave the error in the package. But it inserted the 19 records as it was in the source. Is it acceptable? Let's see how it behaves when we stop this package and we run it again. Again the error as expected. Go to SQL. Look at the 19 records it was in the first attempt. In the second attempt of running the package when I run the table again. 19 into 2. 38 records. If I keep doing it, it will keep on multiplying that record. But it is absolutely wrong. It is just taking these records again and again and again. And it does not have any entry after the 20th record at all in the database. Which means there are multiple issues. Number one, there is duplicate data in the database because the user ran the package once again thinking that in the second attempt it may work. The second problem, we have incomplete data. A lot of our data the major chunk of our data did not get loaded into our database. So I'll stop it and let's go to our requirement. Now you understand the scenario. Now you understand what is the problem if the error or the corrupt data is not handled properly. There are multiple ways in which we can handle this particular situation. In this particular demo, we are going to look at the very basic way that we can handle it. So I'm going to use the flat file source. This blue arrow from here, I will drag it to my destination. And when you click on flat file source, you will see there is one more arrow. This arrow is for errors. What I want is all data that is absolutely perfect without any corruption in it should flow and go to my Microsoft SQL. And any data that has error into it or it is corrupt, it should go to let's say a flat file destination. And I will drag this red arrow out here. Now you see when you drag it, it says configure error output. And it has all the list of columns that we had in the flat file source. And right now it says fail component, which means if you reach or encounter a corrupt data or an error in the flat file source, just fail the component. That has been happening by default. We do not want it. There are multiple ways you can configure it. You can either go to each row and select ignore failure, which means it will just ignore the failure. It will either fail component or redirect row. In current scenario, what we want is we want it to redirect that row, whatever the corrupt row is in our flat file destination. And that is why I'm going to select redirect row, redirect row and redirect row. What if I have a hundred columns? I can't just keep on clicking on redirect row. So what I'll do is I'll select them all and I will say redirect row over here and I'll say apply. Everything changed to redirect and I'll say okay. And now my expectation is that it should pick all the data from the source, the flat file source. It should flow the correct rows properly into our SQL server destination in the customers table but whichever row has incorrect data it should flow that data into our flat file destination but wait this component is not aware what it has to do 
for that or for any component that you drag and drop from your SSIS toolbox into your worksheet you have to teach that component you have to show that component a path so you right click you click on edit and you give a new flat file connection manager you will get a flat file format you make it delimited by default and you will just go and you will give a text file you can just create a very basic text file which is blank and open and make it column name in the first row and okay appendix and okay so nothing else I did all I did was I just right click and created a text file for it where it can store the incorrect data or the rows with the corrupt data so I hope so far you are absolutely clear about it if you have any confusion post your questions and the queries in the comments and I will definitely reply to it before I run the package I will go to SQL I'm going to truncate the table and I'm going to make sure that there is no data in this particular table anymore now my expectation is from flat file source it picks up all the data all the correct data goes into my table all the incorrect data goes into the error file and I'll click on start and see what happens yes you see 999 records goes into my OLEDB destination and one row the corrupt row comes into my flat file destination let's check it out so I click on select star from customer and there's there are 999 records and then I go to the file error data and you see this was the incorrect data so now in this way whenever I run a package it will not stop or interrupt my package where there is incorrect data somewhere in between it will continue its flow but at the same time it is not going to ignore or it will not let go of that incorrect or corrupt data it will catch that data so I can go to this file later I can review it and I can find out that this particular item over here is not supposed to be there so I will change it to whatever the correct amount is and I will save this data in my flat file so congratulations now you know how to handle error in your SSIS package tell the client that your corrupt data is not going to interrupt the flow of my SSIS package anymore in the next video we are going to talk on the same lines just something more twisted something more different what if the data is acceptable by SQL but is not acceptable by client for example the amount cannot be in negative value the amount has to be positive it has to be greater than zero so what if the source file has an amount which is in negative or a zero value how to handle that kind of a situation and situations similar to that this is one important thing I wanted to discuss apart from it in the previous demos on purpose I have induced or I have not told you about one possible error that you must be getting if you have actually practiced on SSIS I'm going to talk about data type and how to create a particular data type or how to modify a particular data type at the source and via a component this is going to resolve the possible error that you must be getting in the previous demos so I hope to see you soon in the next video and until then thank you for watching my videos goodbye and take care